Thank you very much, Marvin. At this point in time, uh, some special remarks will be made by the Honorable Mayor of Clarinda, Mayor Gordon Kokinj, along with Clarinda's sister city, Tamara, Japan, Mayor Takasaki. Let's welcome them. Thank you, Dean. On behalf of the citizens of Clarinda, Iowa, I'd like to thank all of you for your presence here today. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of walk you through a chronological of the events that took place to get this thing complete in about 11 months. Uh, in the spring of uh, 2008, Alan Timpson's family left a great amount of memorabilia, and much of the, there was also much collected over the years by the Glenn Miller Birthplace Society. And, and we were sitting around as a, in a group, and or a couple of us, I guess, and we just kind of said, you know, this stuff is all sitting in closets and, and storage. Maybe we should do something to uh, display some uh, display some of this memorabilia. So we visited with some people in the community, and they thought maybe it was a good idea. So that kind of got it started in the spring of 2008, and if some of you remember, we talked about it at the festival a little bit. And uh, what really happened after that, we uh, put the wheels into motion to get the uh, grant writing going. And uh, there was a couple events that took place about six years earlier that were very important when it came to grant writing. One was the city of Clarinda made a commitment uh, for some financial assistant, assistance and some in-kind assistance. So that was in place. And then the county, your local governments have to make a commitment. So the county also made a commitment and those things are enforced. Now those things are six years out ahead of all this other stuff. So it put in place, uh, which really assisted in grant writing, and one of them, the Vision Iowa grant, which was a large grant, was uh, absolutely necessary in order to have this local assistance. So that got it going, and then in September we kind of kicked off the individual, the individual uh, uh, fundraising, and um, it was it was very successful. Um, we also had to come up with a name for the uh, for the for the for this building. So we visited with Steve and Johnny Miller, and uh, I can remember Steve saying to me, "Well, this is really simple, Gordon." He says, "You just call it the Glenn Miller Birthplace Museum," and so there you have it. So, Steve, we thank you for that, and, and uh, it, that really got us on our way. Uh, the goal uh, for this fine building was to enhance the birthplace home over there. So I want to compliment Trevor, who worked for B&D, the architect firm. He gave this building a quarter turn. And what that does is it kind of draws the house right into it by making that quarter turn. So Trevor, we thank you for that. One year ago, as Dean mentioned, we did the groundbreaking. And we hired all local contractors and Basically, we told them the deadline is April 1, knowing how this works. And if you were in Clarinda, Iowa, starting the first week in December, and if you didn't know what to do from that point on through the entire winter, all you had to do is grab a snow scoop and go out and scoop snow, because it was one of the most severe winters we have ever had in this community. And um, the, the brick contractors actually laid brick, they kept right on going through December, they put the tarps up and got the heat behind it and they just kept right on working and the building was completely enclosed before that day hit, the roof was on and everything so the contractors worked right through the winter so it was, it was uh, very successful from that standpoint. And we cannot thank you enough for your support from uh, the United States all these other foreign countries where this money poured in from. Now there's the electronic donor, donors board in there and uh, I'll say this, if you happen to not be on it, let us know. Because the local paper, there were so many donors, the local paper filled up two full pages of names of contributors to this fine building. So if, if we did miss somebody, be sure to let us know. And I want to leave you with this. Glenn Miller was a tremendous person. He was a tremendous American. And we want to invite you to come back and visit us many more times. Thank you.
fellow ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tetsuya Takasaki, the mayor of Tamara City in Japan. I'm very happy to be invited to the grand open ceremony of the Grand Mirror's birthplace museum and to be here on the anniversary of his birth. On behalf of the citizens of Tamana, including those who have contributed to the construction of the museum, I'd like to stay I'd like to say that I hope that this museum will be treasured and loved by many people in the future. I'd like to close by wishing for the continuing prosperity of Coralinda. We love great mirrors. Thank you. Thank you very much, mayors. Well, yes, Glenn Miller would be proud of what's going on today for him, but Clarinda can also be proud, and as I look around, I see representatives here today from all over Southwest Iowa, and of course, all over the world here today as well. So with that, economically speaking, and in other ways, he's going to visit with us today about the enrichment of what's going on in Clarinda and Southwest Iowa. Here's Bill Menner. USDA Rural Development State Director is with us for a few words. Bill? Good afternoon. Uh, Bill Menner, USDA Rural Development. On behalf of the President of the United States and Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack, I'd like to congratulate you on a fabulous facility. Uh, USDA Rural Development had the good fortune to partner with this community and with the Birthplace Society uh, in the form of grant dollars uh, and loan guarantees through Page County Federal Savings Association. So this really is in many ways a public-private partnership. And we do a lot of things at Rural Development. We help fund libraries and water systems, uh, the hospital for which we'll break ground next week. We don't get to fund too many museums that honor a patriot and a hero like Glenn Miller. And that's why uh, I'm honored to be here, to, to not just recognize Glenn Miller, but to, to honor those members of our greatest generation uh, who helped us maintain and protect our freedom, uh, to Glenn Miller, whose music uh, moved a generation uh, and kept those uh, uh, veterans, those heroes who were fighting on uh, two fronts during World War II. Um, our role in this is relatively small in comparison to those of you who contributed here in this community uh, and to those, uh, those men and women who gave their lives uh, for our country. And I wondered if I could call at this time uh, Marvin and the two mayors back up. Will I sign a special proclamation and give them a small token of our uh, of our respect and appreciation. This acknowledges the Department of Agriculture's uh, role in this project and congratulates the city of Clorinda. Uh, I'm just going to sign it here and then kind of like when uh, the governor signs a bill I have some small tokens of esteem for you all. Um, but this is basically me on behalf of the Department of Agriculture recognizing and honoring the Glenn Miller Birthplace Museum on this, the, the dedication of it. So, the declaration is signed, and you each get a pen. <laughs> Those are the most expensive pens they'll ever get from the federal government. It's worth about uh, $200,000. Again, congratulations and best of luck. Thank you, Bill. Well, how many of you are in the mood for a little music? 
one more time, how many of you are in the mood for a little music? How about America the Beautiful from the Tom and a Girls High School Band? <laughs> spine-tingling moment right then, like me. It's still, it's still happening. So beautiful, and they never have to worry about the wind blowing away their music. It's always right up here. Unbelievable. So beautiful. Well, it's time now for more for you. Chamber of Commerce ribbon-cutting ceremony is now to take place as we ask these special people to come forward for the ribbon-cutting ceremony. Steve Miller, Blake Sennett, Mayor Kokenge, Marvin Negley, Mr. Aoki, Richard Anderson, Mr. Takasaki, Mr. Fukuoka, Mr. Kita Zato, Mr. Sikeya, and Jake Ziff. Please come forward. This is Elaine's game. 